Welcome back to JKP Rising. Today's video is going to be something that I've been thinking about for a little while that I'm kind of interested in, which is why I'm talking about it. And I'm curious if you guys have felt the same way as me. Throughout the Halo 5 campaign, we got introduced to a new character called Spartan Locke, this very mysterious character that looked mysterious, but ended up, in my opinion, being extremely bland and fucking boring. So how the fuck do we have an awesome theme like this matching a boring ass character like Locke? The last time I played the Halo 5 Guardians campaign fully was three months ago when the game came out. So I do want to go back and replay through the campaign again and kind of suck the whole thing in so I can readjust my opinion because I have changed my thoughts on the campaign since I beat it three months ago. Now, some criticism towards Locke, and some people have defended that criticism where they'll go, oh, well, in Halo 1, Master Chief was silent and kind of stoic and monotone like Locke. Well, at least Chief was fucking interesting. Late Night Gaming did a good example. He says, take the characters from Halo 5 and remove them from the story, and does the story still happen? And yes, it does still happen. So Locke doesn't do much at all in Halo 5. He really isn't what I was hoping him to be. He's not this legendary Spartan. He's not powerful. He gets defeated by Chief pretty easily. There's a part at the end of the campaign where he's like, you're not gonna take away the Chief. And I'm just like, okay, would Locke really say that? I don't think he would. I really feel like 3 for 3 wasted their opportunity on this character. They introduced him in Nightfall and I thought he was really boring and didn't seem to give a shit about his team and was just there because he happened to be there or he just had to deal with that problem. And then in Halo 5, again, we get more of that boring attitude. And maybe that's who Locke is. Maybe Locke is just a boring fucking character. But why would you make a boring fucking character? That's so stupid. So Locke, to me, is a boring, monotone, nobody Spartan, right? So why is this theme everything but what Locke is? This theme, in my opinion, it just feels like a hero. It feels like someone trying to rise up above everyone else. It feels like somebody heroic and someone that's justified. Somebody that has a lot that he's fighting for. It sounds like a person that cares for what he's doing and Locke is nothing like this theme. This theme is completely locked out of Locke. I don't want to go all Noble Six fanboy, but I thought this theme sounded way better for a character like Noble Team or a character like Noble Six. It just fits more. Locke is so empty and this song is so full of life and I just don't understand how this theme is Locke. And it's kind of a shame because the soundtrack for Halo 5 was really good and I just wish that the narrative matched the really high points in the campaign, which some of it did, I'm not gonna lie, some of it did, but I think the characters like Locke really hit a low point. Those are just my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this theme fits Spartan Locke in Halo 5? I personally think it does not at all. My name is James of JKB Rising. Leave your comments in the thoughts below. What? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next Halo video here on JKP Rising. Have a great day.